start by line vibrato. Keep watching to find out. If we haven't met, hi, I'm Megan. I'm a violinist and teacher currently based in New Jersey. I have both my bachelor's and master's degrees in violin performance. I'm a Suzuki trained teacher and I specialize in working with adult learners. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to my channel and check out my online violin academy that's always linked in the description. It has hundreds of video tutorials just like this one, plus practice plans, live classes with me, and all of my digital courses. Vibrato is important. There's no denying that. However, it is not the most important aspect of playing the violin by any means. I like to think of vibrato as the icing on the cake. Would you just eat a big ball of icing? I don't know, maybe you would, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I would want my icing to complement an already beautiful cake. So other aspects of technique, I believe are more foundational and should be well refined before starting vibrato. If you begin vibrato too early and you don't have your foundational technique down, vibrato is probably not going to go well for you. And vibrato is hard enough by itself. You don't wanna make it any harder. So these are the skills that you should be able to demonstrate before you start violin vibrato. One, you should have well-refined posture. This means that your bull hold is relaxed and flexible. It's not stiff and your holding of the violin is comfortable and steady. I think it goes without saying that posture is the most foundational element of technique because if your posture isn't good, nothing else is going to sound good either. The second technique is tone. So you need to be able to have a straight bow and keep it in an even contact point throughout your bow stroke. You need to have a solid, pleasing tone. You don't want it to be scratchy. And you should be able to produce a great tone with ease. Three is intonation. Now, I truly believe that intonation is a lifelong journey. I don't think you can ever truly master intonation. But before starting vibrato, you really need to have at least a decent um, intonation. Vibrato can mess with your intonation because when you do vibrato, you're changing your hand position and you're changing the note slightly, right? Because you're moving back and forth. So you really need to have solid intonation before starting vibrato. And the fourth skill that I prefer my students to have a good grasp on before starting vibrato is shifting. There's a few reasons for this. One, shifting and arm vibrato are the same motion. So if you're already practicing shifting, you're already practicing a little bit of vibrato inadvertently. And second is because shifting allows you to play more notes and therefore a wider range of pieces. Vibrato, again, yes, very important. It makes your playing sound more beautiful, takes it to the next level, but it doesn't increase the pieces that you can play. I teach all of my students shifting before vibrato. So after you have well-refined these things, posture, tone, intonation, and shifting, then you're ready to start vibrato. This does not mean that these things have to be perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect, but you should have a good grasp on them. For reference, I usually teach um, vibrato at the end of Suzuki Book 2, where most students have been playing for anywhere from like a year and a half to three years. If you've only been playing for a couple months, you're probably not ready to start vibrato. When did you start learning vibrato? Or if you're a teacher, when did you start when did you start teaching it? I'd love to hear. Drop a comment and let me know. So sorry before you go and thank you for watching.